friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jackie Los, also known as Junk Gal. And today I've got my apron, so you know what that means. We're going to cook something in Jackie's kitchen. Today we are making the internet hit Texas caviar. Helen Corbett, who reigned as Neiman Marcus's head chef for 17 years actually invented the dish in 1940. She was asked to write a menu using only Texas products at a loss for an acceptable recipe starring the black eyed peas. She admittedly didn't like. She decided to pickle them in oil and vinegar with garlic and onions and unwittingly produced what would become one of her most well-known creations. It was so popular that Neiman Marcus later canned and sold it in stores. We're going to make it like Helen made it originally and then we're going to add some things from the pantry. I've got some fresh cucumber from the garden that I just picked. I've got some fresh tomatoes. We'll throw those in there. We've got some peppers. So we'll kind of make it our own. But I will show you what the original version looked like. And we'll go ahead and taste that as well. Let's get in the kitchen and start cooking. All right, and I'm going to be putting the recipe up on the screen here. First, it says you need two 15 ounce cans of black eyed peas. So I've got two of these and it says to drain them. I did drain them and we're going to add these to the bowl. And then it says to add one cup of salad oil. I don't have any salad oil, but it does say to start with one quarter cup, and I am going to swap it out for olive oil. So we're gonna do one quarter cup, and then we can always add to it. All right, there's the olive oil. And then it says that we need one quarter cup of wine vinegar. I have this Pompeian, I think that's how you say it, uh, red wine vinegar. So we're gonna use a quarter cup of that. Basically, you're just pickling the black eyed peas. So we'll put that in there. And then it says we need a clove of garlic. And we'll just chop this up. You can also use the store-bought that is already chopped for you. I'm sure that that would work just fine. We'll chop that up really good.
Okay. The garlic's been added. And then it says one quarter cup thinly sliced onion. And I do have some onion here. I'm going to put it in the food chopper. Until we get a quarter cup. And I, I'm using red onion because I love red onion. chopped. We'll add that. And then it says to add some freshly ground black pepper, about a half a teaspoon. And I believe I'm going to add just a little bit of salt as well. Whoops. Probably not that much. Okay, there's this black pepper. And this is Himalayan salt. And we're going to stir this. And this is the original recipe. It doesn't look all that appetizing, but it smells divine. So we'll save some of this to test. And then this is what it looks like. All right, now let's have some fun. We're going to add some summer crisp corn so I'll go ahead and open that and drain it. That's what's fun about this dish is you can actually make it your own. All right, let me get this drained. This is 11 ounces. That is looking very summery. All right. We've got a fresh cucumber from our garden. So I'm gonna chop that up and add that.
And I think I'm just going to throw the cucumber in the food chopper as well. Okay, there goes the cucumbers. And how about a few tomatoes from the garden? How's everyone's garden doing? Do you have a garden? This one's still a little green on top, so we'll get rid of that. We always plant two tomato plants that are cherry tomatoes and then two that are the larger for sandwiches and BLTs and such. All right, there's that. Now that is starting to look very, very colorful. More like a salsa. Let me see what else we have in the fridge. How about some little peppers? These are sweet, so we'll cut up a couple of those. Just the different colors, maybe a yellow one, a red one, and an orange one. This will definitely add some color.
throw those in there. got some sweet pepper in here so we'll stir that up Actually, that is so pretty and it does smell so good. The aroma of the corn. pretty that is and I think what I will do I'm going to chop up um, one lime and squeeze that they, these are just tiny limes so I'm not worried about overpowering that seeds in there and to finish it off I think I'm going to add some cilantro I have to see if I have any does anyone else have this going on any other McCormick's fanatics out there? Yes, I love my spices. All right, let's see if we can find some cilantro. All right, we do have some cilantro leaves. I don't have any fresh, but we can add this. This smells so delicious. And here is the final result. Now we get to taste it. All right, now it's time to taste. Here we have Helen Corbett's original recipe. I'm just using some tortilla chips for mine. If I had been growing up during that time, I would have eaten it. All right, let's try Junk Gal's version. Here we go. I really like it. I can already see that I'll be tweaking this. 
I hope that you'll give this Texas caviar a try. Let me know in the comments below how you're going to make yours unique to you. Thanks for watching my video, and until the next time, God bless.